Hi guys, welcome back to another video. A today's lead code question is three sum clauses, which states that given an array nums of n integers and an integer target, find three integers in nums such that the sum is closest to target. Return the sum of the three integers. You may assume that each input would have exactly one solution. And an example is given where the array nums contain minus one, two, one, minus four, and the value of target is one. So we get our output as 2 because we get minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 which is equal to 2 and which is closest to the value of target that is 1. So we can see that a current question is similar to the one we have seen in the previous video. The link to the previous video is linked down in the description. You can check it out. The main difference between the previous question and this one is that in the previous question we had to find many solutions and the value of target was zero whereas in this question we have to find only a single solution and the value of target is explicitly mentioned by the user. So the approach we are using to solve this particular question is quite similar to the one we have seen in a previous video with a few changes in the algorithm part. Let's consider the same example which we have considered in the previous video where the value of nums array is minus one zero one 2 minus 1 minus 4 and the value of target is 3. So we can see that a resultant triplet is 0, 1, 2 because when we add these three numbers we get the value of sum as 3 which is closer to the value of target or specifically we can say that it is equal to the value of target. Let's consider the algorithm as we move further with the example. Before that we need to declare two variables called out and min and initialize the value of min to int max and then sort the array. So after sorting the contents of the array are minus one sorry minus four minus one minus one zero one two and then we traverse the array from i is equal to zero to the size of the array and check whether nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus one. Since the value of i here is 0, therefore we can neglect this condition and move further and again declare two more variables namely left and right and point to this memory location which is first and last. Then we check whether left is less than right and if so we calculate the value of sum. So here a value of sum is minus 4 minus 1 plus 2 which is equal to minus 3 and we check whether the value of sum is equal to target and since it is not we enter the else condition and check whether the value of sum is less than target and yes it is less than target therefore we increment the value of left. So now left point to the second memory location and then we check whether the absolute of the difference between sum and target which is 3 minus of minus 3 which is 6 is less than minimum value. If so we update the value of out as sum and the value of minimum as absolute difference of sum and target which is 6. Now again we calculate the value of sum which we get the same value as we have got in a previous iteration. So again we increment the value of L or left and again calculate the value of sum. So now the value of sum is minus 2 therefore we get the absolute difference between sum and target as 5 which is less than 6 therefore we update the values of out as minus 2 and min as 5 along with incrementing the left pointer. Again we calculate the value of sum and this time we get as minus 1. Therefore we increment the value of L and check whether the absolute difference between target and sum is less than minimum and yes it is. Since the absolute difference is 4 we update the values of out as minus 1 and min as 4. Now we can see that left is not less than right therefore we exit the while loop and increment the value of i. Now i points to minus 1 and nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus 1 that is 
minus 1 is not equal to minus 4. Therefore, we can proceed further and declare the left and right variables and now calculate the value of sum. So the value of sum is 0. Therefore, since 0 is still less than 3, therefore, we increment the value of left and then calculate the absolute difference between sum and target. This time, we get the absolute difference as 3, which is less than the value of min. Therefore, we update the values of out as 0 and min as 3 and again calculate the value of sum. So this time we get sum is less than target. Therefore, we again increment the value of L and then calculate the absolute difference between target and sum, which is 2. Therefore, we update the values of out and min as 1 and 2. And we proceed further by calculating the sum once again. This time we get it as 2. Therefore, we increment the value of left and then update the values of out and min as 2 and 1 respectively. Now, we reach a condition whether left is not less than right. Therefore, we exit this while loop and increment the value of i. Now, i points to minus 1 and we fail this if condition where nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus 1. But in our case, this value is equal to its previous value. Therefore, again we increment the value of i. Now, i points to 0 and left and right points to 1 and 2 respectively. Now again we calculate the value of sum. So this time we get the value of sum as 3 which is equal to the value of target. Therefore we return sum. So finally we can begin with our code. As we have seen in the explanation part, we declare two variables called out and min and initialize the value of min to int max. We also store the value of nums array in a variable called n and then sort a nums array. And after sorting, we traverse the array from i is equal to 0 to n minus 2. The reason for traversing the array from 0 to n minus 2 is that when i points to n minus 2, we don't get the values of left and right such that left is less than right. That's why we only traverse till n minus 2. And then we check whether nums of i is not equal to nums of i minus 1 along with a special case where i belongs to 0 or i, I is equal to 0. And then we declare two variables called left and right whose value is i plus 1 and n minus 1 respectively. Then we insert a while loop and check that while left is right less than right then we calculate the value of sum the value of sum is calculated as nums of i plus nums of left plus nums of right and then we check whether the value of sum is equal to target If so, we directly return the sum. Else we check whether the value of sum is less than target. If the value of sum is less than target, then we increment the value of left. Therefore, left points to the next memory location. Else we decrement the value of right. And finally, we check whether the absolute difference between sum and target is less than minimum. To calculate the ab absolute difference between sum and target, we can use the ABS function in the STL library.
and if the difference is less than the value of minimum then we can update the values of out as sum and the value of min as the absolute difference between sum and target and finally we can return the value out so our code is finished and we can run our code since our code runs fine we can proceed further and submit it and we have successfully submitted our code if you found this video helpful do hit that like button and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such upcoming videos thank you